Usually what happens, I'm asked the question, what came first, the singing or the cooking? I always say the eating. I mean, being raised in an Italian-American family, eating was the heart of the house. Grandmother Grace was my inspiration in my career. Putting the cookbook together with some of her recipes that I grew up with was a miracle. It was an epiphany that I had that when she was in the kitchen, uh, she would always play some uh, Italian music and that Italian music somehow influenced the whole mood of the kitchen. And so I thought to myself, I said, self, uh, why don't I put a cookbook together uh, so I can experience that same experience I had growing up in an Italian-American family in New Jersey uh, and have other people experience that same experience that I had as a young child and also the passion and the love that was in the kitchen uh, inspired me to learn as much as I can uh, around the apron strings of Grandma Grace, uh, who was from Sicily. Uh, and those recipes still are alive to this day as I travel around the world, uh, singing and cooking, going from this place and that. Doesn't matter what ethnic background, doesn't matter where they came from, when we're all sitting down at the table, we're all family. Well, it was interesting because as soon as I started to have the idea to learn these Italian songs that I sing, uh, my teacher showed up. My teacher, Giovanna D'Onofrio, uh, was 88 years young, and uh, I was under her tutelage for a year or so. Uh, and that inspired me to learn some of the arias, to understand the Italian music, uh, and also the Neapolitan favorites that I sing during my shows. And that seems to all mesh and all blend and all meld together well as I'm making the pasta vajol or I'm cooking the grandma's ricotta Sicilian cheesecake or I'm making the cannolis. Uh, and it just all comes to life again in that whole package uh, of my singing chef career. Well, even when I go overseas uh, and I have people taste some of those recipes that I grew up with, they say, hey, this is fantastic. They're very simple. The key is, Simplicity, the ingredients are always fresh, as fresh as possible. Have your pantry stocked with the best olive oils, some of the garlic, some of the uh, onions, uh, some pastas. Uh, one of my inspirations was that I was able to see my Nonna Grace roll the pasta, make the pasta, and of course dry it on the bed. We as little children, we would go into one of the rooms and we, maybe we were tired and there would be the pastas, all different shapes and sizes, drying on a big white sheet. So our parents, our mother would move some of the pasta over and maybe lie us down next to the pasta. So we were called pasta bambina. And we would have that experience of seeing and smelling the smells and listening to the songs and the excitement and the passion that was in grandma's kitchen. So this is uh, what my inspiration is still to this day as I travel around the world garnering more of a world family and, and just bringing that love and that joy and that passion to as many people as I can possibly sing and cook for as the singing chef. Music, they say, is a universal language. It brings all people of all cultures together. When you mix that with good food, good wine, and a good experience, people take that with them and they remember that experience sitting around the table, breaking bread, sharing a meal with each other, and they become the world family at that particular point. One of the things that I'm very happy with that wherever I travel, wherever I go, people relate to me their family stories and how they grew up possibly with their grandparents as I did with my mother uh, side of the family being from Sicily, my grandmother Grace, and also my father's side of the family being from Potenza. Growing up with the grandparents, getting that enriching uh, experience, the stories they told me as they grew up as young children in Italy was very, very fulfilling to me. And of course, sitting around now at a dinner table with my family, with my friends, I also experienced that, having a good glass of homemade wine, which I helped my grandfather make sometimes uh, when I was old enough in the basement of uh, their house, uh, making the old wine, sitting on the table in the, in the bottles on, on, on the table. And uh, it was just one of those experiences that is something that you cannot capture, recapture over and over and over again.